Today I'm going to be replacing a carburetor. This is on a Myers Manx uh, off-road dune buggy. It's got a VW air-cooled engine in it. And we're going to be replacing it with a brand new carb. So you can feel from this gasket here, this gasket here. So as opposed to doing a rebuild, they just wanted to replace it. So we have a brand new uh, MP. First thing I'm going to do is remove the air filter here and take this whole assembly off. Now on a standard Beetle, it would pretty much be the same thing, but here you would have the air filter sitting on top of it. This is an off-road setup. So it's just got a, kind of like a coolant hose. Um, just going to stick the clamp off and then we're just gonna pull that out, just like that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the uh, electrical connectors. It goes on the side of the carburetor right here. And then you have the other point, which is going to be on the solenoid here. I'm just going to disconnect those. I'm just going to disconnect it all together from that. And just set to side. disconnect the fuel lines and the vacuum lines. You got your fuel line here at the top. I'm going to take that off. Take this one off here and take off this vacuum line here. For this off-road setup, it looks like that uh, is the only three that are connected here. And then shimmy that off. You want to be careful with this uh, end right here and the barb. They do break easily. Just kind of break the seal there. And then pull that off. Okay, next part that I'm going to remove is going to be the uh, throttle cable. And that's just this little screw right here. There we go. We got the little screw right here. We're going to back that out. And then this should be able to slide out. That is pretty much just putting pressure up against the cable here so then the cable will then slide backwards and then that little pivot pin will be able to slide out that way so it shouldn't be too tight I was able to just get it out with a pair of needle nose pliers just unloosen it it's kind of like a set screw just take that out so now you should be able to push that back just like that and then this piece in here is gonna slide out that way. All right, once we have that removed, we're gonna remove the two nuts that are right here. There's one in the front, one in the back. Okay, once you have those two nuts removed, you just gently pry up, pull up on this, and carburetor is out. Inspect this area for any damage. Make sure there's no gasket material left. Get this cleaned up so that it can seal properly to the new car. Make sure nothing falls down in the engine. I'm gonna stuff some paper in there. All right, got it cleaned up as best as I could. So pull that out just like that. So in the kit, you get a new gasket. So they're just like a piece of cardboard. You get your two uh, mounting studs and then you get some uh, extra jets here. When putting in the new studs, the short end is gonna go into the carburetor. And the longer end is gonna be what the nut bolts onto. So we've got the new one on. I just gotta put the nuts on. Go to reconnect your 12 volts to the solenoid and then to your carburetor right there. Remember to hook up your fuel lines, the one right there. Okay. If you hook up this new carburetor and it's uh, still not firing for some reason or it's not running right, it does need to be um, adjusted. Cool thing about MP is uh, when you order a new carburetor, they actually send you all the directions. How to adjust it, how to tune it, uh, all that kind of stuff. Any any little thing that you need to know, the main jet, factory jet, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is follow the, the directions and get it set to the initial settings. Talks about the bypass screw, the volume control screw, and the uh, idle adjuster. So you can pause it and you can try to get a glimpse of that. If you don't already have it, there you go and you're welcome.